we're gonna learn how to add data mosh looking effects to your videos like this. All of this is done with an After Effects plugin called Motion Mosh. It's a GPU accelerated effect that allows you to preview the effect in real time instead of traditional data moshing where you have to waste time with another program or export and re-import your video. By just pushing a few sliders around, you can make your next music video, commercial, or even DJ loops so much more eye-catching. We're gonna cover everything you need to know from the basic settings to cool transitions and even this insane effect at the end of the tutorial so that you can get the most out of Motion Mosh. After installing the plugin and opening up After Effects, let's apply the effect to a video layer. Make sure to register your plugin and enable GPU acceleration in After Effects since this plugin won't work without it being enabled. Now we're ready to walk through what each parameter does. You'll notice that there are five presets to choose from depending on what kind of look you're going for, and I encourage you to just try them all out. Under motion, the frames parameter tells you how many frames will be moshed. Frames offset is the multiplier of the amount of frames being affected. So in this case, it's one times 10 frames. So if you put two, it'll process over the next 20 frames. You can even put in something like minus one to process the previous 10 frames instead. Min and max velocity changes what part of your image is being processed. So for example, if I set the max velocity from 50 to one, it considers pretty much all of the motion that's in your video. Feel free to play around with it since this will affect your look the most. Motion angle determines the angle of the mosh, whereas motion size determines the size of the mosh. Under look, you have a few parameters that affect the actual look of the mosh itself instead of what parts of your footage is being affected. The amount controls the intensity of the effect, and it's normally where you'll keyframe if you want the mosh to gradually start and end. Trails affects how much of the mosh you want to trail, so it'll really depend on your taste. Displacement is another setting you'll want to play with depending on what kind of look you're going for, but the higher that you go, the crunchier the effect. Chromatic is the amount of chromatic aberration that you want. Chromatic offset lets you determine the angle of the chromatic effect. And lastly, constraint to alpha allows the effect to stay within the opaque parts of your video and not trail off into the transparent areas. So for example, if I roto brush out a drifting car, I can apply the effect, check off constraint to alpha, and the trail will stay within what I wrote out. As you can see, the default setting already looks amazing without even touching any of the parameters. But what if other parts of your video are moving and you only want the subject to be motion moshed? If I simply apply the effect, it looks really cool on its own, but it can be a little bit distracting with how the background is being moshed as well. So you can roto brush out the subject, in this case the car, and even if it's not a very clean roto, you can apply the motion mosh effect to the layer and get something really sick. If you're not a fan of how the mosh is in front of the subject, you can simply duplicate that layer and delete the motion mosh effect so that you have a clean layer on top. That way, it looks like the mosh is trailing behind the car in this case. If you want a moshier look, a couple things you can play with is keyframing the frames amount to increase over time so that the trail becomes more apparent. Keyframing the frames offset to process backwards first before processing forward. And finally, punching up the saturation. Details make the difference, and I encourage you to experiment with the settings yourself. Motion Mosh is also great for giving your text or graphic animations a glitchy look. You can simply slap on the Motion Mosh effect after animating your text, or use one of the included presets to quickly add movement instead. If you're working on music videos and promo videos, then I know you're not just looking for a cool effect, but also some spicy transitions. Let's say you have two clips in your composition. All you have to do is keyframe the position of your second clip, in this case, just having it enter from left to right. And I know it looks like a PowerPoint presentation so far, but if you ease the last keyframe, create a new adjustment layer and apply motion mosh, you can keyframe the amount so that the effect gradually begins and ends to create a cool, moshy transition. 
the position isn't the only thing that you can keyframe. You can also keyframe the opacity between the two clips before applying motion mosh. Here we have a spinning party light that transitions into a ball spinning on a finger. Although the transition looks pretty interesting on its own just by keyframing the opacity, we can apply motion mosh and keyframe the amount just like before to create a trippy transition. Although Motion Mosh looks amazing on its own, where it really shines is by using it on top of other effects. In this case, we can create a pixelated Mosh transition by using the Mosaic effect. The best part is that you don't even need to do it from scratch. Just drag and drop the pixelation preset onto an adjustment layer, and you've got a super unique transition. You can play with a slider to affect the strength of the Mosaic, or simply select all the pre-existing keyframes, hold Alt, and drag the end of the keyframes to shorten or stretch the length of the effect. Experimenting is what I find to be the most fun about using effects like Motion Mosh, so I encourage you to try out with your favorite effects. I'm personally a big fan of glitchy transitions, so applying an effect like Pixel Sorter underneath gets me another look out of Motion Mosh. Now I saved the best for last because stacking the motion mosh effect gives one of the most unique effects I've ever seen. All you have to do is apply the motion mosh effect to your video layer, duplicate the layer, change the blending mode to difference, create a new adjustment layer, apply a levels effect on it, and then adjust the brightness so that the mosh is more punchy. Now you see only the mosh. If you want the effect to be more obvious, select the duplicated layer and just play around with the settings like the max velocity. Isn't this insane? Something I've been really enjoying is stacking effects between the mosh like the mosaic effect. You can even add a colorama and glow effect to make your footage look as if it's shot in the matrix. No matter what you use Motion Mosh for, share your work in the comments because I'd love to see where you take it. Thank <laughs> you.